Hello, English 2 students, just jumping on here to kind of talk to you about the EOC prep material analysis assignment. A reminder that that is due this Sunday. Uh, there are six of these stories, that, uh, six of these reading prompts that I want you to evaluate, uh, and you just need to answer all four questions over all six of the prompts. There's not much, super, super a uh, lot I'm wanting you to go into with this. The only two, the main two ones I'm wanting you to like explain your thinking and kind of go a little bit more in depth are questions three and four, uh, because those are dealing with metacognition. Now, I have been talking about this particular book uh, by Kelly Gallagher, uh, and he's been talking about how in order to help people become better at reading, one of the main things that uh, really help is understanding uh, writing purposes, uh, reading purposes, and uh, who the intended audience is. And so that's why we're starting off with these two particular questions. You only have to answer these in about one word. So what was the writer's purpose? You can blend some of these purposes because occasionally purposes can be bl uh, blended, uh, but any of these would apply. You just need to make sure it's accurate because uh, if it is uh, expressing or reflecting, it's probably not inquiring, exploring, et cetera. But basically any of these would apply, express, reflect, inform, explain, evaluate, judge, inquire, explore, analyze, interpret, take a stand, propose a solution. You just have to put any of those down that apply and there you go. Number two, uh, who was the original intended audience for this piece of writing? So all these pieces weren't originally written for a standardized test. They were actually originally written for the wider public and who of these people, like who in the public would Gen uh, gravitate towards these particular stories like who are the people that are interested in these types of uh, uh, things that you've been reading so who was the initial people that uh, this particular uh, piece was written for then three and four are the important ones what is the most important thing you have learned from the text so I'm a firm believer that if it is the most dry, boring thing, you can pull some information from it. You can have your bet, you can get a better understanding of yourself or a better understanding of a part of the piece of the world through interacting with a piece. So, uh, what was the most important thing you learned? What, was, what did you learn about the world, yourself, etc.? And explain why that was the most important because there's a lot of things you could learn from a piece. Why was that one thing the most important? And number four, uh, what specific part of the text did you find the most challenging and why? What specific part of the text did you find challenging and why? I don't care if you are the world's best here. If you, uh, you, there are times you can stumble into things that you aren't familiar with, that you kind of found challenging or you kind of found difficult to get through. Even if you didn't think, if even if you thought it was super easy peasy, you can kind of narrow down on a specific thing that uh, if I was to struggle with anything, if there, I did have a weak point, it would be this right here. Uh, your, the questions uh, that you have to answer, that could be applied to number four as well. The questions could be another thing that you could talk about with number four. So that is the EOC prep material analysis. Just make sure you get that done by Sunday. This is the more important of the assignments. It actually requires you to think because uh, that is the bigger purpose of English class. It's the thing I don't like about standardized tests is they don't really make you think. They 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 fill you up and make you think that you're thinking, but it's not re actually required deeper thought in order to accomplish it. Uh, I know uh, number two, some people are I feel like have been confused by it the most. Once again, it's just are the people that read this book are they fan novels? Are they teachers? Are they sailors? Are they uh, fourteen year old girls? Are they uh, our enthusiast that's basically kind of what I'm looking for like who are the people that are intended to uh, read this piece who would go out of the way to read it all right so that's all I got for you if you have any questions about this assignment please do not hesitate to email me p davidson at portugal.k12.mo.us it is due Sunday please make sure you get it done it's worth 30 points that is a big grade uh, for you all right uh, that's all I got for you I'll see you later see you on Monday